direct or indirect speech. So let's see the introduction. Narration is the use of a written or spoken commentary to convey a story or a sequence of events to an audience. So there are two types of narration, direct speech and indirect speech. Indirect speech is also known as reported speech. Direct speech describes when something is being repeated exactly as it was. And indirect speech or reported speech is reporting the content of another utterance without directly quoting it. So let's see parts of a sentence used for narration. So when we use narration, what are the parts of a sentence? So here we have two parts. She said is one part of the sentence, which is outside the quotation marks or inverted commas. And I have learned all the question answers is inside the inverted commas. So she said is the reporting part of the sentence. And I have learned all the question answers is reported part of the sentence. Reporting part is the part which is not in inverted commas. And reported part is inside the inverted commas. Changes in the words. So we will study about changes in modals, adverbs of time and place, tenses, pronouns, and changes in the structure of a sentence according to the type of sentence. So first let's see in which type of sentence there will be no change at all. First, when there will be no change in the reported part of the sentence, when the reporting verb, so as we know reporting part is in this sentence example, she says is the reporting part. And the verb in the reporting part is reporting verb. So when reporting verb is in present or future tense, the reported part, which is in inverted commas, will not change. Only the verb changes according to the pronoun. So she says, I like chocolates, will change to she says that she likes chocolates. Now one more, there will be no change in the reported part of the sentence when it is a universal truth or habitual action. So for example, our teacher said the earth revolves around the sun. So this is a universal truth, a truth accepted by the whole universe, which will never change, right? So therefore, it will change in reported speech to our teacher said that the earth, the earth revolves around the sun. So we can see verb has also not changed here. So first let's talk about changes in modals. In direct speech, can will change to could in the reported speech. Similarly, will will change to would, must when it is an obligation will change to had to. For example, she said, you must go to sleep now. She said that I had to go to sleep. Okay. May for possibility will change to might. He said, it may rain today. It will change to he said that it might rain today. Shall for suggestion will change to should in reported speech. May in permission will change to could in reported speech. The student asked, may I come in? The student asked that, could he come in? Shall in the future tense will change to would. Modal verbs that do not change are in the direct speech. So if could, might, must of speculation, 
need, ought to, should and would are in the direct speech. They will be same in the reported speech. Okay. Coming to the next change that is adverbs of time and place. So in direct speech, here we'll change to there in the reported speech. Similarly, yesterday will change to the day before or the previous day. Tomorrow will change to the next day. Five minutes ago will change to five minutes before. Last month will change to previous month. Tonight will change to that night. In two hours time will change to two hours later. Coming to changes in the tenses. Simple present tense will change to simple past tense. For example, she said, I like chocolates. Taking the same examples, but using said here, which is past tense. I'm using the reporting verb of past tense. So here, the reported part of the sentence will change, right? So she said, I like chocolates. I like chocolates is in simple present tense. So it will change to simple past tense. She said that she liked chocolates. Like plus ED form. Like. Okay. Similarly, simple past will change to past perfect. Past perfect's formula is had plus V3 form of the verb. And present perfect will again change to past perfect. We can see that simple past will change to past perfect and present perfect will also change to past perfect. Talking about present continuous, it will change to past continuous. Past continuous will change to past perfect continuous, which is had plus been plus verb plus ing. The past perfect tense does not change in the reported speech. So here you can see past perfect is not given in the table. I have not mentioned it because the past perfect tense in the direct speech will not change in any other tense in the reported speech. Talking about changes in the pronouns. First person pronoun will change to third person pronoun. Both in the reported part. Okay. For example, she said, I am going to school. I is first person pronoun. So it will change to third person. She said that she was going to school. You can see is going has changed to was going. Tense change. And she was going she. Is third person pronoun. First person pronoun in the reporting part. Reporting which means not in inverted commas. Will change to first person pronoun in the reported part. Means what the example would be. I said I like pizza. It will be in the reported speech as I said that I like chocolates or sorry, I like pizza. So second person pronoun in the reported part, which means in the inverted comma part will change as per the object pronoun. It will change as per the object pronoun means what the second person pronoun of the reported speech is always changed to according to the object pronoun of the reporting verb in such cases a pronoun is given which acts as an object in the reporting verb for example she said to me she said to me so me is the object here what did she say she said to me you won a prize you won a prize. So in reported speech, it will be, she said to me that I won a prize. I 
Why it is I? Because object is me. Right? She is talking to me. So, object is me. So, the pronoun inside the inverted commas or in the reported part of the sentence is changed according to the object. The third person pronoun of the reported speech does not change. Okay. Now, let's see changes in the structure of a sentence according to the type of sentence. So, first let's see assertive sentence. Assertive sentence, what is it? It is a sentence which tells us a normal info or inf it gives us information, right? For example, he said, I'm going to school. He said that he was going to school. So we can see here that not much change is there. I am going, he was going, means subject, verb, to school. Subject, verb, object, same format is there. So in assertive sentence, while converting to direct, speech to reported speech there is no much change in the structure of a sentence coming to interrogative sentences interrogative sentences are the questioning sentences let's see examples he said to me are you going to school a yeah, question mark should be there yeah so he asked me if i was going to school so are you going to school if i ask you this question your answer will be either in yes or no right so when the answer is in yes or no, the if this type of question is asked, this type of questions will change in reported speech and start with if or whether. So we can see, are you going to school? They'll answer in yes or no, right? So it is changed to reported speech in he asked me if I was going to school, if or whether I can use here. So let's take a normal, another question. Which answer can be long on any and one word like that? Any other words? She said, which is your favorite color? So here, WH question is there. All WH questions or how. This is also a question, H-O-W. So how and including all WH questions, it will be same in the reported speech. How? She said, which is your favorite color? She asked which was my favorite color. So we can see which and which it has not changed. So similarly, all the WH questions will be in the same way. Coming to imperative sentences. Imperative sentences are sentences about commands or requests. So mother said, go to school now. It should be full stop. Yeah. Mother ordered to go to school then. Now changes to then and we can see here according to the sentence we are changing the verb. Mother ordered to go to school. So we can see to comes in front to go to school. Right. One more example. The child said please buy me a mobile. The child requested to buy a mobile for him. So we can see please is not getting repeated once, once more because we have already used the word requested. Talking about exclamatory sentence. Exclamatory sentence are the sentences which express emotions. So they said today is their birthday. They shouted that that night was her birthday. Today becomes that night. That night was her birthday. Is changes to was. Her birthday, her birthday. Third person pronoun. So this is a type of mind map which you can refer. And this covers all the types of changes according to sentence, modals, pronouns, tenses, everything.